Alright, let's go to Starscuff and enter the whatever with the skate. Um, are we gonna go? Yeah, we're going, we're going. Sorry for keeping you waiting, fools. Run, run, run. That imposter had the audacity to carry out her nefarious plans right under our noses. How utterly despicable. Absolutely despicable. How dare she? What worries me more is... Just how many more antimatter saboteurs are at large? No clue. About the new. It all happened so suddenly. But looking back, I think Mr. Yang was right. Ting Yun was behaving strangely. She was fascinated with the Abundance's creations. Mm, Since she was true. an Amicaster dispatched by the Skyfaring Commission, it's evident that there must indeed be a person with her name in the Commission. We'll have to let the Cloud Knights get to the bottom of what happened to the real Ting Yun. Yeah, yeah, we gotta As do it. As for the Ting Yun who accompanied it, us all that way, it's like what Mr. Yang said. Her appearance was designed to sow seeds of doubt among us. We cannot allow ourselves to fall into her trap. About scale gods would escape. It is a delve governed by the Vidyatara. Supposedly an ancient oceanic region transferred from the Vidyatara home planet. Oh, After the Ambrosial Arbor no was broken in two during the, the war, spacer. its roots were left gnarled and broken. Like, what the hell is this? Yet it never died. <laughs> the Alliance decided the to seal the Arbor within Scale Gorge Waterscape, entrust it to the High Elders of the Vidyatara, and rely on the power of Long Scions to constrain it. It has been so Whoa. long. No one knows whether the seal remains. Even if it does, I doubt it will hinder that Spectral Lord Ravager. He's gonna, she's gonna ravage me. Where's Jing I've reported the current situation to the seat of divine foresight. He made no further contact after we communicated at the Matrix of Prescience. He said he had important matters to personally attend to. Oh. The situation stands on the edge of a precipice. We must trust in the general. Time is of the essence. Let's go. A little while ago. Oh, we're going back to Dan Hong. Uh, this is... The Alchemy Commission. But oh no. Huh? <laughs> You're pretty familiar with this place. Yep, it's the Alchemy Commission. No wonder we were getting those military broadcasts on the way over. Uh, something about the Cloud Knights gathering here, right? They're probably coming to fix the Stellaron problem. Oh, okay. It's been such a long journey, but now we're finally gonna meet some Cloud Knights. I'll be back with my unit. That's good for you, man. I didn't lie to you, right? I told you I'd bring you somewhere safe, and I did. Though, we did take a bit of a detour. Uh, yeah, yeah, Before this is somewhere safe. In Star Skiff Haven, this is where all the stuff is going down, but yeah, somewhere safe. Fortune for the journey ahead. He told me not to be concerned with the destination, but to seize my chances and travel with the current to reap the greatest harvest. Oh. Meaning? <laughs> Meaning, thank you, Miss Sushan. Arigato oh. gozaimasu. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go report to the nearest captain. Yeah. You guys can hang around here, but don't run off too far. There will be cloud knights coming to escort you back soon. Bye for now. Sayonara. Oh, look, I'm sending Dan Hung a message. The Cloud Knights invited us to go with them. Your homeland's got some really big crucibles. Oriet Elixophonus? Why are you near the Oriet Elixophonus? Okay. The messages never get sent. <coughs> I wonder what's happening with those three. The Cloud Knights seem to be gathering for the Stellaron disaster. But why did Kafka want us to come here? What happened to them? And what happened to Blade? I've delayed for too long. I need more information. Time to gather some information. Alright, let's talk with people at the market to understand what's happening. What's up? Go? go. Go where? The Lafu is under lockdown. The Cloud Knight's operation isn't over yet. Relax. When the fight is over, I'll personally escort you and Mr. Locha home. Okay, she's not any help. 
You haven't been back home for a long time, have you, Master Dan Hung? As home again? draws nearer, so our feelings grow stronger. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah, there was do you no want to leave? Line. Then do it now. <sighs> the Cloud Knights will soon check our identities. I have somewhere else to be. I've tarried here too long. Is he coming Wh with us? Where are you going? Yeah, I'm a traveling merchant. I have one more deal to see through. All right. If you say so, my man. Uh, excite the cloud night. Good news from the front lines. The disciples over at Eve Mist Mansion have been defeated. Okay. Um. Sup? I heard the Star Skiff connections are being reinstated. The people stranded at the Alchemy Commission should all be able to leave soon. You? You can't speak. All right. What about you people? You can't speak. He's blocking me. The master was defeated? No. No, that cannot be. Bro, believe it, bro. Uh. Thanks What's to up? those heroes, I managed to pull through. Could those guests of the general be the Galaxy Rangers of old? The f That's some power in the ripoff crap. The Master must have failed to summon the protection of Sanctus Medicus. Her will must have wavered. Just right. you wait. I'll show you the blessing of Sanctus Medicus. Sure, bro. Good luck with it. You'll get cooked too. Uh, Those travelers defeated the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Won't that make us seem incompetent? All right. Uh, I, I need to find a way to make this report sound more impressive. Bro, I'm just standing behind him, menacingly just listening. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus started a rebellion in the Alchemy Commission. The Cloud Knights have the area locked down. It's not safe. Please remain here for now. We will yeah, send sure, someone to escort sure you back once the operation is over. Disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Lunatics, all of them. You saw the Ambrosial Arbor, I assume? I heard that's the work of those sorcerers. Still, I can't say too much. Military secrecy. Fee, fee, fee. The Arbor's resurrection is connected to the Disciples' Rebellion. I've heard those names before, but when? How did the others get drawn into all this? Have you seen in the other world? Danang briefly described to the captain the appearances of March event and the Kiru. You must be talking about the general's guests. Are they your friends? Yep. Oh, what a coincidence. They left with the Master Diviner not long ago. That's all thanks to their courageous work that the knights don't have to worry about the poison in Eve Mist Mansion. Oh, okay. I received the good news from the front lines. They'll probably be back soon. Thanks, that's all I wanted Strange. to know. Strange. You seem oddly familiar oh, shit. to me. Never mind. Too many misfortunes recently. I can hardly think straight. Okay, let's get out of here before they recognize us. I feel like Danang was a... Danang was a criminal or something. I'm sorry. I have to catch up to my friends. Thank you for looking out for me on this journey. Both of you. Okay, but I was walking now. What a huge cauldron. This Orient cauldron is driven by the flashbacks? cloud and magic oh. of our people, the Vidyadara. It drinks the water of the ancient sea like a whale swallows the tide and refines it into medicinal pellets. Uh, oh, oh, my memories. I remember stuff. No. I'll just have to take the elevator to stop remembering. <laughs> they should have add elevator music for that. Would have made it so much better. All the elixir crucibles that the Vidyadara helped to construct contain cloud him magic. You should take this chance to learn more, young master. Uh-huh. But I don't need any sort of device to help me command water. What more is there to learn? You are oh. indeed the 
chosen one with endless potential. Yet cloud him magic is just the beginning. The beginning. Uh, did Yadava and Miraja go? Have these shadows of the past yet to disperse? <sighs> these memories. These memories. No. They have nothing to do with me anymore. All the elixir crucibles that the Bidiadara helped to construct contain. Uh huh. You oh, okay, okay. You heard that already? They say that your room's power incarnate. Is that true? Hmm. <laughs> long. Who the hell is long? I was exiled from the Shenzhou. Ah. I'm no longer one of the scions of permanence. <laughs> I doubt I will be here to see you take charge. No need to feel aggrieved. Bidi Adara go through cycles of life and death, and existing forever in this world. That sounds shitty. By the time you are the High Elder, my hatching rebirth will be complete, and I will be a child once again. Please take care of me. Damn. Okay. So immediately after you die, you're reborn. Searching power. It's you. You've returned, High Elder. Huh? Something terrible is happening in the Elgort Waterscape. Please don't go any further. Your enemies. Your enemies are waiting for you. Ah! My enemies. I'm, I'm sorry. I cannot linger here. My friends have left. I must find them. You didn't heed us then, and won't heed us now. As headstrong as you always were, it seems you already made your decision. There is a vessel bound for Scale Gorge Water Steep located ahead. All right. It's time for me to go. Hey, look at my boy! The young master on his silk. Or Starscuff, as they call him. Blade He's and Kafka! Here. Hey, yo! Hmm, right on time. At least Kafka isn't that having a feeling season. Kafka. It's welling up within me. That feeling. It, it's. Well, don't resist. Let the Mara strike you. God damn. Okay. Kafka's a bad influence. You're here. <laughs> it's time to pay the price. It's time. Damn, lady. You spot think ball. changing form will help you escape? Escape. I've told you and that woman many times. I am Don Hung. I have nothing to do with your past. Don Hung. <laughs> You think another name and face can blot out the sin of your past? You... You didn't even experience death. I will force this suffering upon you, Don Hung. You will know the pain of death! God damn! <laughs> not on my watch! Hey, it's the Sword Master! You're not murdering anyone today, fugitive! You're coming with me! Jing Yuan's lapdog. <laughs> Did the general not teach you to choose your battles wisely? Ooh. Hey, move back. Things are about to. Huh? Eh? You. You look so familiar. Oh, even he remembers that now. <laughs> look out! Ooh, cutscene! Good hiding. Yo, this is so hard as hell. Oh no, Dan Hung. 
I have news for you, boy. Behind you is none other no. than the traitor of the Sienjo. A criminal forever banished. The High Elder of the Vidyadara. Imbibe her Lune. <laughs> You really thought the Stellaron hunters were the only ones to infiltrate the Sienjo? In that case, I'll bring both of you to justice. Why do mortal in enemies team enough? Let's go! I've heard of you and Bibiter Lune. First it was the Stellaron hunters, now an exiled criminal has infiltrated the Sienjo. I have no interest in stoking conflict. I came to ensure the safety of my friends. Yeah, you tell them. Save your excuses for the Shackling prison. Out of the way. Do not be afraid. <laughs> Better, but I'm afraid. You won't be seeing your friends. They're caught in their own bitter struggle. No. Silence. You're not getting away either. Is that so? <laughs> Let's heat things up then. Kafka? Lady, listen to me. Unleash the Mara. So it begins. No. Surrender. I sense a storm. <laughs> to what's wrong? Afraid to hurt the boy. I wonder if the others are okay. Gotta make this quick. You two just won't give up. I only have one choice. Wait, is he using his ult? Yo, the giant sword! What the hell? No mercy. Kyle, this can't delay any longer. Oh, I didn't wish to harm anyone. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's no other way. Forgive me. This isn't over. All of you, listen to me. Stop. Ooh, Kafka's being like, stop scrapping. Well, Blady, are you satisfied? I'm just clearing the stage for the grand entrance. Can't have you three misbehaving in front of the Lafu's hotshot general. What? <laughs> Yo. Ching Yuan. Uh, general.
Many years have passed since the two of you departed the Sienjo, and yet the circumstances of your return appear to be equally unhappy. If you still thought of me as a friend, you should have forewarned me. My task is complete. Hmm, that it is. Thank you for assisting the Sienjo in this small matter. Take this person away. I will pretend I didn't see anything this time. General, <laughs> this dude I... is so corrupt, bro. <laughs> now is not the time. Yeah, like, shut up, bro. We don't need to follow the rules all the time. And there goes Kafka and Blade. It has been a long time, old friend. Wait, they got lost? <sighs> I'm not him. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but the way you kicked this kid's ass, you looked like him. You most certainly you were him. Leave yet. Your Astral Express friends are waiting for you in Scale Gorge Waterscape. Shall we go and see them together? All right, Pit, let's go. Lunarescent depths, a realm of singular beauty. Scale Gorge Waterscape is the same as when I last laid eyes on it. And here we stand so different from one another. The flesh of long life species may be immortal, but the constant of heaven and earth eludes them. Huh. You know the Vidyadar are hatching rebirth cycle, General. The waters of the ancient sea have cleansed Dan Feng of his past sin. The person that once stood here alongside you is no more. Oh, so you're incarnated. I am Dan Hung. Whether Dan Feng was hero or villain has nothing to do with me. I bore his punishment, accepted my eternal banishment without complaint. But do not let his shadow cloud your estimation of me, General. Oh. <sighs> Raising old nets only darkens the water, an exercise in unhappiness. Perhaps it is your visage, the horns on your head, or the unmistakable air of the High Elder that makes the separation nigh impossible for me. I already told you, I... You did. But to what effect? If words alone were enough to change the heart, this world would be without quarrel. If you wish to rid me of the illusion of Don Feng, you must do something for me. Oh. Before I can let Don Feng die and revoke your banishment edict, I need him to do me one final favor. I can guarantee you that when it is done, you will no longer walk in anyone's shadow aboard the Law Fu. I may not be capable of the things that Dan Feng was capable of. You must do it, or my promise will count for naught. If you wish to blame someone, blame your previous incarnation. Had he not committed that terrible sin, had the power of dragon transmutation been passed on intact, I would have no need to compel you. It is as I said. So you're a dragon. Here we okay. stand so different from one another. Don Feng is no more. Now, there is only Don Hung. But I, I am the general of the Lo Fu. There are things that I wish I did not have to do, and yet I must. Mm, makes sense. <laughs> Let us talk of happier tidings. The friends you made on the Express are here. Do you wish to see them? You, you brought them here? <laughs> yes. They are waiting in the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. Go. Your friends are waiting for you. Okay. What are these? I have been keeping careful watch against the abominations of abundance, the Stellaron hunters, and the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. But I never anticipated the antimatter legion. The hunt is far from over. Yet all the while we find ourselves at war with other evil spirits. Hmm. From this battle onward, 
The Alliance must fight the Legion to our dying breath. Even if it means the end of the Law Fool. God damn. Okay. But I was spitting. Our intelligence tells us that the Legion are a mad and destructive war machine. They, just they never took up arms man. against the Alliance. The armies of the Seven Ravagers all have their own means of destruction. They are not to be taken lightly. Lord Ravager Fantilia favors internal collapse, which is why she masterminded the Stellaron Crisis and urged the disciples of Sanctus Medicus out of the shadows. Now that her plot has been laid bare, she has no choice but to retreat. And yet that hardly suits her philosophy of destruction. There must be something more. All right. And there's a bunch of fast echoes. Holy crap. Her hatching rebirth is complete. She left me all alone. Still, I wait for the day of my rebirth. Endless waiting. Sounds like hell, bro. Do you know something? When Don Fong committed his great crime, the Ten Lords Commission advocated strongly for him to be destroyed. The Vidyadra, on the other hand, were split evenly in their favor and disfavor of the motion. <laughs> the Dragon Transmutation Inheritance was not intact after all. The senior Vidyadra hated you, yet did not dare to kill you. The Vidyadra were under great pressure. In order to placate the Ten Lords and Skyfaring Commissions, they performed an exuviation charm on Don Fong against his will. Still, they ensured that the charm contained a flaw, thinking that this would fool the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> the senior Vidyadara were sure of their scheme, but you cannot hide fire with paper. That is a very cool quote. You cannot hide fire with paper. As recorded in the ancient texts, this body of water was brought by my people from our homeworld. It formed part of the roiling deep. It is as pure here as it was there. Our dragon ancestors nurtured us with the water of life and bestowed us with the permanence of the Vidyadara. Gee, thanks, bro. Still really weird that there's a whole sea on the space of, but hey, there's alien technology, bro. Waters of the ancient sea, cleanse me. Waters of the ancient sea, protect me. This world's good karma is settled. This life's misfortune is erased. Oh, it's time to scrap! Look, your friends are taking the fight to the Legion as we speak. We need to help them. Let's go! Alright, Biff. Heaven search! Let's go! Cloud <laughs> Fairy Dragon! Right! Ooh! That is badass. <laughs> A foregone conclusion. <laughs> Alright, let's enhance his power. Heaven search. <laughs> Celestial Dragon. This is our chance. Take this! Conflict is pretty good. I told you I could fight. Oh god. <laughs> Bart is the most uncool person here, bro. I sense a storm. Search. Cloud 
Spirit Dragon. Right! My turn. Frozen. God damn, guys. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Time for the Master's Radiant Spirit. Heed my word. Show no mercy! I wish not to use this heaven search. <laughs> Celestial Dragon. Quick! This is our chance. Here we go, it's been a long time. The rules, rules are made, are made to, to be broken. broken. Forgive my late arrival, Lady Fu. We are indebted to you and your forces. The seats of divine foresight relate the battle reports to me. As for Fantilia's plan... The Ambrosial Arbor. That's her focus. Lord Ravager Fantilia's strategy was to create civil strife. Then let it consume the Sien Zhou from within. She wanted to use the Arbor to disseminate the power of the Plague's author. And turn the Lafu into a hell of undying abominations. God damn. Hmm. That is clear to me now. Friends of the Astral Express, I have brought someone with me whom I think you'll be eager to see. Uh huh? I is that. Don Hung? You. Yeah, I can You are came, Don bro. Hung, right? What's with the horns? I became a dragonborn. It's a long story, March. It's me. So, you do have secret strength. Hey, man, you've been hiding it. <laughs> Let us save such reminiscence for later, shall we? My astral guess. When you first appeared on the La Fu, your stated aim was the resolution of the Stellaron Crisis. I was concerned that the Stellaron Hunters harbored ulterior motives and refused your offer. I see now that I was overly anxious. Nevertheless, it is true that the motives of the Stellaron Hunters were not what they appeared. <laughs> In order that the Express and the Sienjo fight side by side, Kafka lured you here and broadened the scope of the crisis. In doing so, she succeeded in making it clear that your sincerity is beyond doubt. The Lafu is in your debt, and I have no right to seek further assistance from you. However, as Lady Fu has explained, the appearance of Fantilia means that the situation is far from under our control. As General of the Lafu, it would be foolish of me not to ask Don Hong and the rest of you for your strength at this critical moment. Even if the crisis on the Law Fu had nothing to do with the Stellaron, I would be willing to help. But I can't speak for the other members of my crew. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. As the crew of the Express, that's the Trailblaze Creed we follow. Still, when the journey gets tough, those words can feel far off. That's Fear, true. risk, enemies, and death are the obstacles we face in pursuit of the Creed. That's why the nameless who are able to stay the course number few indeed. Whether our destination lies before us or behind us, the decision is ours to make. Here, as on the Express, every vote counts. Uh -huh. Don Hung? 
Hold out the end, man. This is your home. Thank you, Don Hong. <laughs> How am I still one of the nameless? I stand here at the mercy of others without true freedom to speak. God damn. <sighs> but as a descendant of the Vidyadara, I will fulfill my duty to the Law Fu. <laughs> Great! Everyone's just as heroic as when they arrived. So, what's the master plan, General? There is no master plan. Only a bet. A bet on the senior Vidyadra's incomplete exuviation charm. And on Dong Hong's ability to access the memories of the High Elder. High Elder? When the Rainbow Arbiter severed the Ambrosial Arbor, remnants of the curse of the Plague's author lingered. In order to make the stemming of those remnants a possibility, the Law Fu invoked the power of the Scions of Permanence. Under the direction of the High Elder, the Vidyadara guided the waters of the ancient sea to flood the Scale Gorge Waterscape Delve and contain the Arbor to commemorate this magnificent feat and sacrifice, the Alliance erected the Dragon Vista Rain Monument, a Vidyadara statue. Dan Feng. Oh, it looks so much like Don Hong. I wonder if... <laughs> the statue... Is that... Don Hong's brother? Oh, brother! <laughs> She's so dumb. <laughs> I see why you might think so. These events occurred a long time ago. Yet successive generations of High Elders have not differed greatly in their appearance. That is, until the current generation. The most recent successor did not inherit the same level of power, and their appearance is that of a child. Mm. Do you understand, Don Hong? Since Dong Fong perished, the Law Fu Vidyadra have no longer had an individual capable of performing such feats. But you, who once kept watch over the arbor, should be able to open a way through to that great tree. What happens next is in your hands. Mm, indeed it is. Alright, let's talk to everyone. Uh, you scared the heck out of me! For a second I thought you'd annoyed the general. It seemed like you were his prisoner. There I was, thinking up a plan to kidnap you, and it turns out the two of you are old buddies. <laughs> so, what made you suddenly decide to come down from the express? Stay okay, fine. okay. I won't push you. Everyone has their secrets. Besides, given the circumstances, uh, my curiosity can wait. Anyway, it's great to have you with us, Don Hung. Has coming here triggered your memory? Release your full potential. The power you carry is the key to opening a way through to the Ambrosial Arbor. Yang. I knew you'd come. When we first mentioned the Sienjo, there was a sad look in your eyes. They may have banished you, but the Lawfu is still your home. Thanks. Thanks for all of your elf along the way. You're a member of the Express Crew, Don Hung. Let's settle this matter as soon as possible. Our journey doesn't end here. Let's talk to myself. Crow looks at you as you both remain. Um, as you both become silent. Is there nothing you'd like to ask? Crow shakes her head. She doesn't want to speak. Nobody can get her to open up. <laughs> as usual, no opinion. Imbibitor Lunay's reincarnation. Dong Hong, correct? I've heard your name before. She's looking at him in awe. How can that be? My name was erased. 
Why would the names of the banished be recorded? Your name was only erased from the public eye. But as the Master Diviner, I know, and should know, all the records of years gone by. Such archives are of great importance in times of need. I was not born in the heroic and extraordinary era of the High Cloud Quintet. To have seen those legends with my own eyes. Go on. Your appearance closely matches the depiction in the annals. Does Vidyadara reincarnation really entail a complete transformation? A new life? Let's do this. The statue of the High Elder has been greatly changed by years of weathering. There are small words engraved near its base. Harken, as Arbor revives and foes nears, we call forth the, the mighty water of ancient sea to flood the abodes of heaven and quell roots of evil. We etch this in stone for all to heed. Try to feel the great power here. Let's go. Beneath the endless rolling waves, the ancient roots of the Arbor blaze, long dormant. They stir and come to life. As if a beast, okay, the containment mechanisms woven by past thrones, the bindings that think the beast powers known, a fragile net soon to shatter and fall, each decay a warning heard by one and all, memories from the past emerge from the darkness tightly gripping you. What's the animation, bro? Damn, that's a whole tempo, bro. The inhibitor of Luna arrives. The annals mention that Scale Gorge Waterscape was once the location of Dragon Palace. Small wonder. Look at all these submerged structures. I was fortunate enough to be here during the Shuhu upheaval period. I witnessed this place in its prime. An age passed. The palace was left in ruins. And the Vidyadra used their sacred homeland to imprison the Arbor. The Lafu and the Sienjo are greatly indebted to them. Mm. <laughs> Lady Fu. Here, General. Remain here. Lead the Cloud Knights in defense of this passage. We must prevent further incidents. Jing Yuan. General, are you planning to face Gantilia alone? No. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. <coughs> I'll be counting on a few friends for support. Let's freaking go! General, the final battle don't is upon cast us. us aside. We're willing to go with you. Nah, fam, you scrubs yes, are gonna General. get cooked. We may not be the mightiest force, but it's our duty as Cloud Knights to protect the Sienjo. How can we let Outworlders face the danger while we stay behind the lines? With your permission, sir, allow me to lead the way. Man, they are loyal. I understand loyal, though. your sentiments, soldiers. He's legit gonna tell them y'all the get The ahead though. of us is not an abomination <laughs> of abundance. They are a Lord Ravager of the Antimatter Legion. Crossing this line will bring you into the conflict between the Rainbow Arbiter and the Ruin Author. You have a more important duty. Cloud Knights, attention! Attention! After I enter the Ambrosial Arbor, and if the seawater returns to its original state, you must withdraw immediately and seal off the delve once more. The Master Diviner will lead you. Yes, yes General. General! It's your time, Fu. Lady Fu, if I am unable to return, I entrust you with the important task of relaying the full account to the other Sienjo ships. I trust you will be here to reissue the order in person. But whatever the outcome, I will do as you command and honor the mission. 
Spoken like a true general. Let's go! Is he got a promotion? Maybe. <laughs> Bro, I'm a little worried though. If someone is chilled and badass as Jing One is like worried, that is bad for me, man. But anyways, next time we'll do the trial of equilibrium part three, and then we will go down to the ruins. And face the past and Lady Fantelia. See you all next time. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to witness this legendary final battle. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>